Wes Wherever here. In this episode, we're camping on this tiny island. Yet another island adventure. I've been eyeing this island up using Google Maps. Really not much information about this island, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of investigating ourselves. I do have a few concerns about this island. First off, it looks pretty steep to get up there to begin with. Hopefully I make it up there. Second, once we're on there, are we gonna have a spot to set up camp? Looks really thick with brush, not exactly level. So hopefully we can be comfortable. And lastly, it's right near a state park, which actually closes at 6.30. Of course, we're gonna be there all night and I'm hoping we don't get in trouble. Another one of our campsites out there camping on tiny rock in the sea. That's the rock. It's four miles to get out to the island, so let's keep it moving. I think I see the island right out there. First thing I want to do is circle the island and see if there's actually a way we can climb up. I don't know, it's looking pretty steep. I don't know if we're going to be able to get up there. Maybe we'll try to go up that way. Well, we got to give it a try. Feels good to make it here. It's gonna be really tricky to try to make it up top with all of our gear though. Got all my gear staged right here. Gonna just try to take a few things at a time. Maybe I can just slowly move items up. Oh my goodness, I almost fell. Ugh. Okay, stuff doesn't always go as planned. That's the fun of it. Wait, where did my pot go? I think I'm gonna have to wait for low tide. Come back down here, maybe we'll find it. Tossed all my gear up there. I'm really trying to figure out what to do with the kayak. So when high tide comes, it's gonna take the kayak away. Kinda thinking I'm gonna try to push the kayak right up here, use it as a little bit of a ramp. That's probably the only way. Oh, that didn't work. Let's give this another try. So close. I can 
cannot believe we just did that. That literally took 100% of everything I had in me. I'm just not looking forward to the morning. And we're not quite done yet. I think I finally see my titanium pot down there. So let me go grab that real quick. Great. Needless to say, I'm pretty eager to get camp set up and start relaxing after that ordeal. Man, of course I'm gonna cut it down for the video, but that took me a whole hour to get everything up here. Before I get camp fully set up, I do wanna explore the island a little bit. Love all the plant life here. This may be where I set up the tent. I'm still trying to figure that out. Sweet. Try not to draw too much attention to myself. What a neat formation. At least I have a little bit of privacy back here behind these bushes. I think I'm going to set up the tent right here. I think that's pretty good considering I have almost no space to work with here. Looks cozy. Super cozy to have the fire going now. And just look at that moon. For dinner, I'm having beer bratwurst on a brioche bun. Gonna add some cheese and diced onions. I have to say, I think I'm gonna sleep pretty well tonight. Good night. Good morning. I was sleeping pretty well on this peaceful little island until the geese started waking me up. I'm excited to start the day here. Not too excited about trying to get everything back down though. We'll see how that goes. For breakfast, I'm hopefully going to be able to clean out this pot that fell into the water and have some cereal. I feel like I enjoy a lot more the simple little things when I'm outside camping. My geese neighbors have been very trusting and accepting of me. Really appreciate them. I'm trying to come up with a game plan of getting back down. It is pretty much high tide right now, and this would not be a good time for me to go down. Probably gonna have to wait it out a little bit here. Hey, buddy. We have another one of these geodetic survey markers here used to standardize GPS and coordinates, I believe. California sagebrush. Not only does it smell wonderful, but it can also be used as a powerful pain reliever. I've been waiting about four hours now, but I think it's finally starting to pay off. If I had dropped the kayak into the water just a few hours earlier, the current would have swept it out. But we're looking pretty good now.
There goes my foothold. went better than expected. You'd think I planned it like that. <laughs>